Persona 4 Golden had a lot of fun costumes in it. You had group costumes where everybody got an outfit from the same theme, and each character also had a handful of costumes special and unique to them. One of my favorite aspects of the costumes in Golden was just collecting them. Some you bought from the clothing store, but some you got from the fox or by completing certain quests. There was a lot of exploration to it, and it was a heck of a lot better than Persona 5's costume unlock method of having a credit card. And to celebrate the recent announcement of Persona 4 Golden coming to consoles, about freaking time, right? Today, I decided I want to take a look at some of my absolute favorite costumes in the game. So, here are my top 10 costumes in Persona 4 Golden. The only real rule I have on this list is I'll be keeping those aforementioned group costumes together. So, for example, I won't have Kanji's Halloween costume and Naoto's Halloween costume as separate entries, I'll just include everyone's costume from that set. But I'll take the time to highlight which characters most stood out for me there. So, without further ado, let's talk about some costumes! In an RPG that stands out as a murder mystery and gives you a party member known as the Detective Prince, I love that one of her unique costumes is one of the most iconic detective designs of all time. Naoto's Detective costume gives her the Deerstalker hat and brown suit reminiscent of Sherlock Holmes. She and Teddy even have a fun chat about him being her Watson. It's a good look for her, and honestly, the only reason it's this low on the list is just because of how late in the game you get it. You can't buy this costume until February 1st, and the very next dungeon you do after getting it doesn't allow you to wear costumes. It's kind of a shame, but it is still a fun look. Speaking of fun looks, Kanji's Kingpin Duster is a great costume on him. Sporting the Kingpin coat from the biker gang that he himself took down, there's a nice bit of narrative to this one. I'm also a huge fan of the color purple, so that's definitely a plus here. And while Kanji objects to being dressed up like a biker, he does care enough to want to fix the loose embroidery, which is such a cute extra touch, and it just reminds me of the many reasons why I love Kanji as much as I do. Who doesn't love a good cheerleader? Their boisterous voices and exquisite choreography fill us with the drive and determination to do our very best. Us! Most of the guys and Naoto sport a fantastic Oendon look, with Yu sticking out especially well because of how it looks like he's dressed up as Izanagi, whereas the girls and Teddy sport those vibrant orange and white uniforms that just look great. And Teddy looks... looks... um... I'd hit it. They're, they're fun costumes that really make me feel like I can take on the world. And since I'm already revealing my cards and bordering on fetishistic, we may as well get these ones out of the way. It's technically cheating to include all of these together, since they do count as individual costumes and not a group costume like the cheer outfits. But you do get them all from the same quest line, and they do all fall under the category of Kashiwagi's lingerie that doesn't fit, so screw it! Chie's fighter armor, Yukiko's magical armor, and Naoto's coronet armor are taking this spot. Naoto's is probably my favorite of the three, with Chie's being okay and Yukiko's not being anything too special, despite being one of the most annoying to get. For some reason though, none of the girls seem very happy to be wearing these, but it does lead to a few humorous conversations with the guys. And because I'm already cheating and bundling these all together, I'm also going to include Naoto's school swimsuit here, because you do get it from the same questline, and she looks cute in it. I love Halloween. I've made that pretty clear with my yearly Halloween videos, and the Halloween costumes in Persona 4 Golden are so much more treat than trick. Every character gets to dress up as a different Halloween staple, and most of them work really well. Yu donning his top hat and cloak as a vampire, Yosuke the furry, Kanji as Frankenstein's monster, because I know some of y'all would get pedantic if I didn't say it, Chie and Yukiko as witches, and even the peppermint buttons on Teddy's costume are so cute. I love this entire set, but the real winner is once again, Naoto. She was rocking that sexy cat look long before Lady On came onto the scene. Happy Halloween! In... whatever month this is. It's probably not October. 
But let's step away from the group costumes a bit and focus on an individual suit that really sticks out. Chie's tracksuit is such a fantastic look for her. This yellow suit with a black stripe down the sleeve, which is a direct reference to the film Kill Bill, really works for Chie's passion as a martial artist and fanatic of those types of movies. It matches her glasses, and even her initial persona, Tomoe, is designed to have nearly the same suit. Chie herself is pumped up about wearing it, and it's hard not to be excited for her. Also, yes, I am well aware the suit is from Game of Death and was made famous by Bruce Lee. I just wanted to see if any of you would pause the video and leave a comment trying to correct me. Let this be a lesson to you to watch the entire video first. I love putting the characters in the GeckoCon high school uniforms, because by wearing the uniforms from P3, I can squint my eyes and pretend I'm playing a better Persona game. Truthfully, the GeckoCon uniforms actually aren't all that exciting. It's a neat little callback, but none of the characters wear them in unique or interesting ways that feel like a good reference to Persona 3, or have their own character flares on it. So why do I have them in my top 5? Because the one thing that totally saves this are the victory poses. Every character adapts the victory pose and even dialogue of one of the Persona 3 party members. From Yosuke asking who's the man to Teddy channeling his inner Ken, the poses are what make these costumes so much fun for me. Also, look at Naoto doing Aegis' little rocking movement. She's just so freaking cute. I also want to quickly mention that there's a figurine of Yukiko wearing the Gekukan costume, and that doesn't really affect my ranking or anything, but I think it's really cute, and I want this figurine. Surprisingly, Yu doesn't really get a lot of interesting, unique costumes, but this one is one of the best. The hard-boiled look, aka the Dojima costume, is just one of my absolute favorites. I don't have a lot to say here, it's Yu and you get to dress him up like Dojima. It's a cool look and a fun costume. The weirdest thing about this one though, is it's one you have to go buy from the clothing shop to unlock. I think it would have made way more sense if you just raided Dojima's closet or something. Phoenix Ranger Featherman! Oh man, I love the Featherman mythos in the Persona series. From its role in Persona 2 Innocent Sin, to Yukari becoming an actor on the show, to Futaba obviously being a huge fan, Featherman has always been a pretty cool part of Persona's world building. And in Persona 4 Golden, everyone gets their own costume in this set. They get their own color, pose, victory cry, and even title. Yu is a great feather hawk, Naoto is an adorable feather swan. My only complaint? Kanji should have been feather penguin. But the two main standouts for me are Teddy as the white featherman horned owl, because I love that they actually made it fit his bear design when they could have easily just kept the normal human shape, and Yukiko's Feather Asus, because... Not gonna lie, I have a huge fondness for the Pink Rangers. Like most 90s kids, I had a crush on Kimberly. And to me, the absolute best costume in the entire game is... Their default clothes. Yeah, that might be a disappointing answer, but these characters were all designed so well to incorporate the Winter Yasogami school uniform with them bringing their own unique elements to the table. Yukiko's sweater is iconic, Kanji's shoulder-draped jacket is memorable, Teddy just being Teddy is the literal mascot for the entire game. Fun costumes are fun now and then, and while it might seem like an anticlimactic answer, to me there's just no substitution for these original designs. Except maybe Naoto's winter clothes. That comes pretty close, which is probably why they went with that for her in the arena games. Y'all might be sick of hearing me talk about Naoto, but it's not my fault she's the best. Alright, and there we go, my top 10 favorite costumes in Persona 4 Golden. I look forward to collecting each and every one of them all over again now that the title is finally heading to home consoles, because as you may have noticed from the footage in this video, my computer doesn't run the game so well. What are some of your favorite costumes in Golden? Do you agree or disagree with any of my picks? Let me know down in the comments below, and until next time, take care.